yeah, this, this was not a regrettable purchase ever. Hey guys, welcome to Reflection Thursday, where every Thursday I look back through my week and find a, something to share with you here in this video. For this week's video, I have a couple of things I wanted to talk about and a rehash of last week's video that I want to mention to you. The first thing I wanted to talk about was the fact that Star Wars The Force Awakens came out two days ago, so obviously I worked hard, I did a fantastic thing at my shift, and had a good job at work, and because of that I got to reward myself with buying Star Wars The Force Awakens. Now I went to my local Target, the one that just pretty much goes everywhere, where I also bought this, and picked up this copy of it. Uh, I really liked the look of the the cover and what's even cooler so it's blu-ray um, DVD as well as digital HD and I have a link that I can download it onto my devices and watch it from there but the cool part is this so when you flip it open you have your first order side and you have your resistance side and then when you open it oh my god what is this the only problem I have with this is there's no fin or no not fin they don't have Poe Dameron in this and I'm very, very mad about that because Poe Dameron, have you seen him? Oh dear Jesus, he's sexy. And looking back, since I got to watch it on my flights to Japan and from Japan, like watching it again and seeing it even last night after I bought it, um, for me, I personally think that I really, really, really want Poe Dameron and Finn to have a thing. I that needs to be a thing, and I want that to be a thing because it would look. It would be. I'd be so happy. I'd be so proud. Uh, they would do the gay community so much love, and I, uh, that makes me happy. And thinking about it too, I don't think that it's just a craze. And you know how the whole it's cool to be a nerd. I honestly think that the people who watched this movie were people who, one, had never seen it and kind of wanted to understand what was going on and they really like educated themselves. That made me happy and I appreciate that. I also think that, you know, it's not so much as a craze as it is a definite salute to a fantastic piece of movie. But do I think that there's a lot of issues in, you know, the original trilogy and the prequels. We won't really focus much more on the prequels. I mean, those were a thing. We have to acknowledge that they happened, but they, you know, they were a fantastic for their time, were a fantastic telling of a story. And it grew so greatly that they were able to make them into three movies and then spawn a six movies and then create a seven. Like that is mind blowing to me and I can't wait to see where this trilogy leads us next. And I personally think, just in my own mind, that in this particular trilogy here, the theory of Kylo Ren's actually working for the light side, I want to believe that's true because I think that would make the most sense to me. But I, I'm not the director, I'm not the writer, so I don't know what happens. So we will have to see as soon as it comes out. The last thing I wanted to talk about was going to bring up something that I talked about in the last video, and that was, of course, Return Home. Now, if you're not familiar with Return Home, it is the audio drama that I've been working on. Uh, within the past week, we released episode two, part one. So there will only be, I think there's only three parts in this particular episode. It's not really long. It's kind of just like a, okay, let's hit the ground running and see what, see if people grasp onto it again. It sounds amazing. I've heard all of it. It's really good. I really enjoy it. But one thing we want to do is we want to end up in the new and noteworthy section of iTunes podcast page. Now for something to be considered new and noteworthy, it has to be within eight weeks of its debut and has to have at least three episodes. Now we obviously have three episodes down already, but we are just a couple weeks away from hitting the eight week mark and then we are not considered new and noteworthy anymore. So, you're probably asking yourself, how do we get to be, get you return home onto New and Noteworthy? Well, that is a perfect question. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link into the description and to the cards that will really go to directly the iTunes podcast page for Return Home. Leave a review. If, even if you've heard like 
30 seconds of an episode or even one episode. Doesn't matter how many of them you've heard, listen to all of them. If you really enjoy them, please rate us and give us a perfect review. The more reviews we get, the more likely we will end up in the new and noteworthy section. And that is something that Jeff Heimbuck, our creator, is really wanting to push for. So I figured what better chance than to give you guys an opportunity to help us get on the new noteworthy. And something that is even better is we might actually have something happening. I can't say what it is yet, but when the time comes, I will announce it here on this video and in this channel. Um, I'll even put it on my Facebook page. I'll put it everywhere so that way everyone gets a chance to come see it when it does happen. But as of this episode, an update from the other one, we hit 25,000 downloads, and that has been collectively since we've debuted Return Home. So that, I thank you. Thank you so much. It means really a lot to me and to my cast. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this week's episode of Reflection Thursday. If you like this video, please do not forget to like down below and subscribe. There are new videos every single Monday and Thursday. All of my social media links, including the link to Return Home, The Way I See It, and my merchandise shop are located in the description down below. So thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, my name is Forrest, and remember, pancake. <gasps> Woo!